Thanks for watching the programming hour. We're here tonight at Burlesque, put together by, we're here with me, Storm, um, Miss Zombie, a lady zombie, sorry, sorry, and Avador. Is there a full name for? Avador. It's just Avador. One name like Madonna. Okay. And so, what was the inspiration for this particular show? Um, rock and roll and <laughs> burlesque and um, um, on, what's the fun. word I'm thinking it's of? It's called fun. 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 That's right. Sex, fun, and humanity. Oh, humanity. Okay. Yeah. All right. New York City is going to be fun still. <laughs> Even though it's expensive, we're gonna have fun. We're and good. Mistrom is fabulous. Look at him. Look at him. His hair. I didn't introduce you, Jerry. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. My name is Jerry Visco, and I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and you're also a journalist and a burlesque performer. And, um, actor, photographer. I don't even know what I do. All I know is I don't sleep. Renaissance lady. Renaissance lady. Lady Zombie. You. Fashion your acts after horror and glamour, is that right? That is true. I do a lot of like two sides of the same coin type of thing. That's why Lady Zombie comes into play. A little bit of glamour, a little bit of the dark side. I enjoy everything and I try to put that forward when I get on stage. I enjoyed your performance very much. Look at her. For sure, for sure. You gotta, you gotta see the. You have to watch the episode to see the back of her dress and her awesome tattoo. And I don't know if you, the camera can catch it if you can zoom in, but she has real vampire teeth. Oh. Avadora, this is the first time I've met you. It's good to meet you. Can you tell us about your act and, and what brought you to burlesque? Well, in actuality, I just um, uh, after ten years of not performing, I just. Uh, started performing and decided to come to the Glamour Awards and I met uh, Tommy and my storm and they were fabulous to invite me over and um, since then I recorded three songs and this was my last single and I had a fabulous time. Everybody was amazing. Woo! That was awesome. I didn't realize that that was an original. That's really impressive. Yeah. 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 That's a good song. That one, this single came out last week. It's called Look and you can buy it on iTunes. Okay. At Me Storm, how did you bring everybody together? We know a lot of great entertaining people, entertainers, you know, I mean, and they, we all love each other. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it, it's, it's the love, it's love. Such a romantic. And we're real. You know, it's we're creativity, real. it's creativity we're and creativity. being like really organic in New York City. You know what, I felt like such freedom of expression that once I stepped on after watching all the performers, I wasn't nervous anymore. So that was really a great. So, so burlesque is secondary to the music for you? Um, I think all of it is, is, is top, it's number one. I mean, burlesque, performing, you name it, as long as I'm comfortable and people are comfortable, I think it's really great. So to express yourself. Everything basically bleeds together for you. Absolutely. That's the same way it is for me. Everything is just another form of art. So yeah, it's it's exactly. just another way of expression, everything. And you did a beautiful, totally. beautiful Thank job. You. It's integrated. It's all integrated together. Like we all have like so many different, when you're a real artist, you'd like to do so many different things and you just create Absolutely. and have fun and uh, express yourself. And that's what yeah. this was tonight. Yes. Seriously, I mean, all of it was. The art returns to New York City and Greenwich Village for once. Well, you know, <laughs> we're trying to keep it alive. Um, you know, all of that coming to go, together. Oh, yeah. great. There's, there's a resurgence I see going on right now, you know, despite what the mayor is trying to do with closing down clubs and, you know, enforcing... Throwing people in jail for smoking pot, etc. Smoking in clubs. We, we definitely will have to vote him out because it's just not working for me or any of us. <laughs> He's a dick. He doesn't support the nightlife scene, and neither did the the past mayor. But the mayors before that were cool. I don't know what happened. We need to vote in someone who's. You're running for mayor, aren't you? Yes, I am, and I Whoa. think I'm going to make life so much better for everybody. Woo! Yes, hi, we're going to have more hi, relaxing hi. times. Hi, Vote for me, Jerry Visco. Yes. What are you running on? What's your platform? Enjoyment and pleasure. <laughs> That's nice. I'd vote for that. I would. Any last words for the uh, viewers in Manhattan that you would like to say? Uh, promote your websites and uh, how they can find you? 
definitely. You can find me on LadyZombie.com. I'm on every social network under the sun. And I'm all about indulgence and decadence and celebrating life, man. That's it. That's all there is. Woo! <laughs> well, Me Storm has his own website as well. Uh, the movie Studio 54 was uh, inspired by this gentleman, and you can see pictures of him posing when he was 18. Very sexy, very sexy. He's still 18. He's still 18. Myself, I, I don't have a website, but they can find me on Facebook, Avadora, A V A D O R A, and I'm all about glamour, baby. Glamour. Yes, you can buy my music on iTunes or um, on CD Baby on my uh, fan page at, on Facebook, Avadora. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'm a social media crazy person. I've got Geraldine Visco on Facebook, Jerry Visco, Visco Disco is my blog spot. I got everything SoundCloud. So everybody, fa friend me. I'll friend anybody unless you're trying to marry me. Okay. Yes. Okay, we're here on to programming hour with Tommy Beal and Band Antenna and Reverend Jen, Saint Reverend Jen. And uh, Tommy, you, you helped put this thing together. What was your inspiration? Um, the the, the uh, Jerry Springer show. Oh, that makes a lot of sense, actually. <laughs> no, the, the, ins the, the, inspiration, the inspiration is based on, you know, the artists that, that we um, get together to do the show. Um, Every, every element that we try to incorporate into the show becomes our inspiration. So, so when we're designing, designing the show, we, we incorporate that element into the, the, um, the uh, people that are performing in the show. That makes sense. You slept with my brother as soon as you left. I left the trailer, didn't you? Ah. Yes. Ian, you were actually, I had actually met you before, but I didn't know you were in a band. You were at my Halloween party, actually. You gave birth tonight. Or, you know, I missed that part. I must have been in the bathroom. It was a couple of days ago. Um, tell us about your band and like how long you guys have been together and the inspiration for the music. Uh, we've been playing together a couple of years now, making the rounds, Brooklyn, Manhattan, mostly. Um, our inspiration is our, each other, really. Um, and the universe in general. Okay. And, and the, the song before, it was Channel 68. What was that supposed to be about? Because it wasn't about television. No, it's about channeling 1968. About, uh, channeling 1968. The music, the social revolution, before the wave crested. Before everybody realized maybe we can't get together. The good vibes. The good vibes of 1968. Do you mean the groovy aspect? When there's a possibility that it could still get together. Groviness represents possibility and no longer exists. I did, I did feel that you guys brought back the groovy feeling. And my boyfriend, who's a music snob, loved you guys. So that's, that's pretty impressive to me. Oh, we've just been joined by Velocity Child. Hi, how are you? Velocity oh, Child. Hi. That was an amazing act. Like, it had to be like the most shocking and like spiritual at the same time of all the acts tonight. Oh, Masturbation sorry. can be extremely shocking. And and the whole, uh, it, you were almost like a Vestal Virgin, you know, giving yourself over to the gods, like, you know. I, I think of masturbation in the same way. Yeah? Yes. And you brought Reverend Jen tonight with you, right? Is that correct? I was very lucky to do so. Yeah, exactly. Yes. yes. Reverend Jen, you were saying that you have a troll museum. I've actually been to your troll museum one time. Yeah, back, I think, in 2003. There are so many people who have been to the Troll Museum, I can't keep track. Yeah. But I do, in fact, have a Troll Museum. What is your um, ministry? Well, kind of the Church of the Open Mic. I don't really do it at all, but I do have an open mic the fourth day of every month. Am I stepping on that? No, it's just that your 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 worship powers are just you know channeling the mic. 
I think I don't um, wanna... so tomorrow night okay. I'm actually doing You're a show at the Tenement Museum. <laughs> How cool is that? It's, it's extremely cool. I'm doing a reading on Orchard Street. Yeah. I know where that is. My book, Elf Girl. And do you have your little ears on? No, I'm kind of dressed as a different a different lunatic. Bride. See, but you missed it. It was a it was a phone that could masturbate yourself. Holy mother of God! I had when I was a sex columnist for a million years ago. I had a, uh, they had me try out a vibrator that could talk. And what would it say? Well, it depended. There were like a couple. There was like an angry one that was like, I'm not in the mood. And then there was a nice one with a French accent. It said like, let's do it. And then there were like a bunch of different ones.